You're right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and welcome to episode number 64 of The Path to Paris. Now we're going to kick off today going into our trade pile. We have managed to sell everything. We have our 726,000 coins on the board. Robin, the two Van An Hoots and of course Aubameyang all selling. But we didn't make profit on Aubameyang. We just about managed to break even. His price pretty much dropped because of the team of the year scare and the market crash. So, you know, I wasn't too unhappy with making profit on the three players and then just breaking even on the fourth. Now, if you're looking to buy some Ultimate Team coins for Team of the Year, I know that you guys are going to want to go out and buy packs, buy the Team of the Year players and stuff like that. Go and check out Battle.com. Their link will be down in the description. A fast, cheap and reliable coin service. And if you use the discount code TCAPGUN, you'll get 5% off all of your purchases. Now, we're going into Division 1 today. And as you can see, we had a hell of a start winning three and drawing one of our first four games. We have 10 points on the board. Need... 13 more to win the title and that's what we're aiming for we want to win the title because that's something we haven't done we haven't won the division one title yet so we're going to go and find ourselves an opponent we come up against a 4-3-3 uh, Bundesliga squad with Mandzukic up top, it's got Van der Vaart, it's got Luz Gustavo, Sahin, it's not the strongest of teams, but it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. It has Elia out on the left wing, it has uh, Shakiri out on the right wing, so let's see what happens in it, and you can see here we have the ball early on, nice work from Menez to hold the ball up, lovely ball into Lucas, and that is one hell of a strike from Lucas there on the volley, absolutely perfect, into the far corner of the goal, coming in off the post, and you can see here that we try and go past a couple of his players and he does end us end up completely going through us with Naldo. Naldo gets a red card and I was like, this is perfect. We're just before half time. We're going to come out. We're going to be playing against 10 men. And, you know, we've got a really good chance to just extend our lead and win this game, see it out. But as you can see, after half time, he had a corner and Van der Vaart managed to pick up the loose ball on the edge of the box and score. And then he had another corner. And this time, Elio managed to score with his head. And guess what? We ended up losing 2-1 because he managed to score two corners. I was absolutely fuming. I you know, had a good couple of chances as well in that game, I felt. You can see there that I did have more chances than him. He did still manage to create quite a lot, but the chances I had, I actually felt like they were better ones. And he'd taken a couple of long shots just to get his corners so that he could, of course, you know, cross in and get a goal from it, which was really, really frustrating. But that's just what happens in FIFA, and you have to sort of suck it up when it happens and realise that you're actually going to end up doing it to other people just as much as they end up doing it to you. And if you're a better player, you'll end up doing it more to them than they do it to you. So anyway, here we go. We're coming up against our next opponent. I was like, come on troops, we need to get some points here. Going up against the 4-2-3-1 BPL side. It doesn't look like the strongest of teams. So there is places that we could punch holes. I'm thinking like down the wing by Kieran Gibbs and stuff like that. But I didn't expect him to go into the lead so early on. You can see there Benteke over the top ball simply straight into him. Takes it down beautifully. And he does manage to finish that one as you would expect Benteke to do. Now you can see here we are putting the pressure onto him. We're coming down the wing with Lovetsi. Lovetsi a lovely ball into Cavani there. Don't usually see those little along the ball crosses into the box. Cavani making a great run. And we do end up managing to tie it up. And even though that was the first half when that second goal went in. That's it. That was no. There was no more action for the rest of the game. There was a few chances both ways, but it was uh, a pretty stale one. I won't lie. And we only take one point down. Now that is pretty dire that we've managed to lose or lose one and draw one from our first two games in this episode. And now we're in the position where we actually have to win all of our games. We have 11 points and we need 23 to win the division. We need to win all of our games, all four, to get the maximum 12 points to actually walk away with the Division 1 title. So it's looking unlikely, but it's not impossible. You know, we can go on something of a run, although it will be very, very tricky. So I've gone away and done some trading. And as you can see, first player I picked up was an Inform Alaba for 117k, listing up for 132,000 coins. And then our second player being this Suarez, an 88 rated one. So it is his second Inform. Picked it up for 580 or 591,000 coins and we're going to be listing up for a whopping 659,000 coins that's absolutely crazy that's 60,000 coins before tax after tax we're talking about 30k so a very very decent amount of profit to be made there and I'm happy you know making anything over 25k per trading session so yeah that's really good work and I'm hoping that he'll sell on pretty quickly. So here we go. We're coming up against our next opponent and it is against a 4-4-2. Um, well, Serie A squad as you can see. 
and uh, we have the likes of Asamoa in there, we have the likes of Marquisio, we have Vidal, we have a whole lo load of very, very good players, and you can see here that uh, we end up getting through, crossing it in, sort of like a tramp, but we were under a lot of pressure, we were never getting the shot off in that situation, and Menez was there to put that one into the back of the net, so that's a good start for us, and then just before half time, you can see here Menez again going away, and simply leaving his defence behind, and putting it into the back of the net to make it 2-0. Menez has been very, very strong in the last couple of episodes and uh, long may it continue. Anyway, we get another goal through Cavani here in the 50th minute just after half time. Simple ball played into him and he hits it first time. Keeper wasn't equal to it and we end up going 3-0 up. And then he managed to get a goal back. You can see here we try to clear it player heads it back in and there's Balotelli it falls straight to him and he's never going to miss from that position coming across the goalkeeper so it's 3-1 we just need to make sure that we shore this result up I thought about passing into Motta but I decided that I would try and do a skill move I did a Berber spin and Menez scores an absolutely spectacular goal and that is how the game ends so guys I hope you have enjoyed the episode obviously if you could drop it a like that would be absolutely fantastic subscribe if you're new to my channel um, look out for team of the year pack openings coming tonight is going to be absolutely awesome and I will have to leave it there and I will see you all next time